Hey guys, Dylan Cuesta here for FootageCrate.com. Today we're going to go over three simple ways to improve your sound effects editing. We can talk good cinematography and VFX till the cows come home, but anyone who's worked in video or film can tell you that the most overlooked part of any project is the sound that goes with it. So when it comes to sound effects, as easy as it is to just drag and drop files into your timeline, it's important to make sure your sound really complements the story you're trying to tell. In other words, if you don't put as much work into your audio as you do your video, people are gonna notice. Trust me. One thing that can stick out in your audio is using the same sound effect over and over again, in the exact same way. To remedy this, I suggest using the pitch shifter, which you can find in the audio effects menu. Once you apply it to your sound, just open up the dial and start adjusting it. Nothing too major, just enough so it doesn't sound like a carbon copy of the other sounds. To take it a step further, you can also try combining other elements into the same sound. For a gunshot, I'll sometimes lay something else under, like an explosion, a punch, even a different weapon entirely. After this, we'll adjust the volume so it doesn't overtake the original sound's flavor. A great way to enhance the relationship between sight and sound is to manipulate the balance and volume. For instance, if you had something like a helicopter in your shot, you would want to make sure that the corresponding sound would accompany the imagery. If it's a basic center frame shot, a drag and drop method will suffice. However, if it's in the distance, it should most definitely be quieter. Or maybe it occupies a particular side of the frame, in which case you would want the sound to follow suit. To achieve this, we're going to go to the panner, which is under effects controls, and we're going to adjust the balance to our liking. Now the coolest part of all of this is that you can actually set keyframes for both volume and balance, allowing you to make the sound start one way and gradually work its way to another. Try different configurations and discover how you can create movement in your audio. The last ingredient to make your sound more professional is a good background element, whether it's a consistent room tone that you record yourself at the location, or ambient tracks such as those that you can find on Soundscrate. We have a wide selection to choose from, including thunderstorms, volcanoes, battlefields, something for every occasion. Laying one of these under your footage will add a subtle touch that'll boost the production value of your final product. Plus, you can also use snippets to enhance your other sound effects. So if you wanted a punchier explosion, you would grab the volcano or thunder track, take a snippet from the file, and then... So there you go. Try out these three tricks and get closer to making your next film sound more like the makings of the next Spielberg or Bay. Hopefully more Steven than Michael, but you get the idea. Feel free to comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like us to cover, as well as particular sounds that you would find useful in your own projects. Be sure to also follow our Production Crate Facebook page, and if you haven't already, sign up for the forums, which will upgrade your amount of daily downloads from 2 to 5. Well, that covers everything. Till next time, peace.